One, telephoning. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. Can I speak to Peter Safin, please? Speaking. Are you busy? Can I call you back? Please hold on. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll transfer you. What's the area code for Dublin? Dial nine to get an outside line. Press the star key twice. This is a very bad line. You're breaking up. The reception is very bad. Would you like to leave a message? Leave a message on my voicemail. I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back. I think we've covered everything. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Dialogues one. Beginning a call. I'd like to speak to Max Reed, please. Just one moment. I'll connect you. You're through now. Max Reed speaking. Hi, Max. Simon here. Hi, Simon. How are you? Fine. And you? Checking information. Hello. Hello, John. Sven here. Did you get my email? Yes, it's right here in front of me. Fine. I thought it would be quicker to phone than send you another message. I wanted to run through some of the arrangements for Tuesday. Asking the caller to hold. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. Could you hold on a little longer? The network is very slow today. How long do you think it is going to take to find the information? It won't be long now. Right. Here we are. The figures you need are. Asking the caller to leave a message. I'm trying to get hold of someone in your sales department. Are you having problems with your phone system? I was cut off earlier, and now there is no reply. Just a moment, please. I'll try the number for you. Yes, I'm afraid there's no reply from the department. They must be at lunch. Would you like to leave a message, and I'll get someone to call you when they get back? Thanks. My name's Basma Show, and the number is four five three nine eight zero. Making sure you understand. Can I speak to Teresa Rilla? I understand that she is looking after sales while Marco Stam is on parental leave. That's right, but I'm afraid she's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Thanks. Could you say that Peter Baumgartner called and ask her to call me back? Can you spell your name, please? Baumgartner is B A U M G A R T N E R. I'm at the Rainbow Hotel in room thirteen. Is that thirteen one three or thirty three zero? Thirteen one three. Thanks. I'll pass on the message.
ending a call. OK, have we covered everything? I think so. You just need to let me know when you can send the report. That's right. I'll send you a message when I get back to the office. Anyway, thanks for calling. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. Dialogues 2 A voicemail message. This is Anne Fussell's voicemail. I'm sorry, I can't take your call at the moment, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Alternatively, you can leave a message with my assistant. His number is 0046, that's the country code for Sweden, 01, that's the area code, 2132. Many thanks. Leaving a message. Hi, Fiona. I've been trying to get hold of you all morning, so I hope you get this. Please call Sara Rimondi as soon as you can. It's about the meeting next month. Unfortunately, I can't make it, so we need to talk urgently. It's two o'clock my time, by the way, and I'll be going home in three hours. Bye for now. You can't talk. Hello? Hi, John. Can you talk? Not really. I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Speak to you later. It isn't urgent. The reason for calling. Can you hear me now? I couldn't hear you very well earlier. The reception was terrible. Anyway, how are you? Fine. I was just ringing to check the time for next week's meeting. Is it still three o'clock? You can't hear the caller. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. I'm in a restaurant, and they have just started playing some loud music. I didn't catch that. I'll just go outside. Just a moment. Can you hear me now? Yes, that's much better. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You have to end the call. John, Peter has just arrived. I'll call you when I get back to London. Fine. I'll be here until five. Speak to you later. Bye. 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 An automated message. Welcome to Hasner Business Systems. This is a toll-free number. Please choose one of the following four options. If you are calling about an existing order, please press 1. If you wish to place a new order, press 2. Two, a company visit. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. Could you give me directions to your office? Just follow the signs. Go past the station and take the first turning on the left. You'll see the office on the right-hand side. I've left my car in a reserved space. I have an appointment with Hans Eckberg. Take the lift to the fourth floor. 
His office is the fifth on the right, along the corridor. Hello, Hans. I'd like you to meet our marketing manager. Pleased to meet you. Tell me something about the company. What does the company do? We're in the transport business. We employ just under five thousand people worldwide. The company was set up five years ago. We are the largest manufacturer in the country. North America is our biggest market in terms of sales by region. We have an excellent reputation for service. Business is booming. Dialogues one. Directions to the office. Hi Rosa, it's June here. I'm in the town centre outside the bus station. Could you tell me how to get to your office from here? Sure. Follow the signs for Frankfurt. After about two kilometers, you'll see a garage on your right. Carry on for another two hundred meters, and then turn left. Our office is on the left-hand side, just before a railway bridge. When you arrive, park in one of the visitor space just outside the main building. Thanks, Rosa. See you soon. Getting lost. Hi, Carla. Hello, Bob. Is everything all right? Not really. I'm lost. I'm calling from a service station on the E7, just south of a place called Melton. I don't have a map with me, so could you direct me to the factory? Sure. Take the first left after the service station, and follow the road to Porlock. Pass the shopping centre on your right, and then take the first left. Carry on for three kilometres, and you'll see the factory. Thanks. Arrival. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I have an appointment with Hans Eckberg. Could you tell him I'm here? I've left my car in a reserved space. That's okay. I'll take the car registration number. Could you write your name here, please, and wear this? Do you know the building? I'm afraid I don't. Okay. Go up these stairs and take the lift to the third floor. Mr. Eckberg's office is the fifth on the right, along the corridor. Thanks. Meeting. Hello, John. Good to see you again. And you, John. I'd like you to meet Lara Berman, our marketing manager. Hello, John. Pleased to meet you. Did you have a good journey? Yes, very good. The directions were very clear. Dialogues two. Introducing a company. One. We are in the label business. We produce all kinds of labels: price labels, bottle labels, even postage stamps. We have factories in France, Germany, Malaysia, China, and the UK. How many people work for the company? We employ just over five thousand people worldwide. There are around four hundred employees in this factory. Is business going well? Yes, it is, and it's growing all the time. Introducing a company too. So, tell me more about your mailing business. Sure. 
we provide a complete packaging and mailing service for our customers. We now have branches all over the south of the country, and we have plans to open new branches in the north. What kind of company are you? We're a private limited company. We're not listed on the stock exchange yet. Company history. So, how long have you been on this site? We moved here five years ago. Before that, we were in a very small office building in the centre of town. And when was the company set up? Ten years ago, by Simon Donner, who is still the managing director. He started the company with just two employees. That's very impressive. A tour of the office. Let me show you round the office. Our sales representatives work in this open plan area. The room in the corner is Britt Gamlin's office. She's the senior sales manager here. Do you know her? No, I don't. Has she been here long? No, she joined the company two months ago. Come with me. I'll introduce you to her. Hello, Britt. I'd like you to meet Olivier Blaireau from the Paris office. Pleased to meet you, Olivier. How are things in Paris? Dialogues three. Business activities one. We are the second largest manufacturer in the country of glass for the car industry. One in three cars in this country uses our glass. How many plants do you have? We have five domestic plants, but we also have factories in ten other countries. As well as supplying the car industry, we sell glass for buses, trains, ships, and aircraft. Business activities two. Tell me more about the company. Basically, we run a so-called shopping search website. If you visit our site, you can find links to a wide range of products and services. You can compare prices from various shops and find the best deal. That sounds very interesting, but is it secure? Yes, in my view, it's far more secure than buying over the phone. Markets. Where are your biggest markets? In terms of sales by region, Europe is by far the biggest market with sixty percent of our total sales. North America accounts for fifteen percent. Asia Pacific is ten percent. The Chinese market is particularly strong. South America is eight percent, and the rest of the world is seven percent. I think you'd better write that down for me. Why are things going so well in China? The Chinese economy is booming, and we have a very good sales force there. The competition. Who are your main competitors? It depends on the region. There are a lot of local producers in Europe, and we cannot compete with them on price. However, our reputation for service is excellent. We are well known in the market for high quality and reliability. What about the Japanese market? We cannot compete in Japan. High transport costs make it very unprofitable to do business. Maybe things will change in the future. Three, job information. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. I work for a software company. I'm responsible for the development of new products. It's a very challenging job. I report directly to the managing director. The job involves a lot of travelling. I usually start work at eight o'clock in the morning. Do you usually drive to work? How's the new job?
I really enjoy it. The salary is good. I'm very pleased I moved here. How has the takeover affected you? Some people are going to lose their jobs. Some will take early retirement. There won't be any compulsory redundancies. We need to recruit a new training manager. What kind of person are you looking for? We need someone with excellent communication skills. Dialogues one. Responsibilities. So, what exactly do you do in the company? I'm responsible for new product development. I report directly to the CEO. What does that involve? I supervise a team of designers. We all have to think of new ideas, test them, and develop the ones that we think will succeed. It sounds challenging. It is, but I really enjoy it. Qualifications for the job. I hear you studied in Finland. That's right. I did a degree in engineering at Tampere Technical University, and then I worked in a small software company in Helsinki. Why did you decide to stay in Finland? I was very interested in the job. I wanted to put my training into practice. The experience was very good and certainly helped me to get this job. A typical day. What time do you start in the mornings? I aim to get to work by 8 a.m. That means leaving home at 7:30. I usually cycle to work. Are the hours flexible? In theory, yes. But I normally finish at 4 p.m. I sometimes finish earlier if I take a very short lunch break. Do you go out for lunch? Occasionally, but I like eating in the company canteen. Discussing a new appointment. What kind of person are we looking for? We want someone who is already working as a project manager in a software house. He or she should have at least three years' experience. What sorts of skills are needed? Excellent communication skills are essential. The person we appoint will have a lot of direct contact with clients. We need someone who can present the company clearly. Absolutely. So, where can we find this person? I think we should advertise with an online recruitment agency, but we may have to use a firm of headhunters. Dialogues two. Working conditions. Are you pleased you moved to the Bangkok office? Yes, I am. The atmosphere is very relaxed, and I have a good group of colleagues. There's a great mix of nationalities, and we often go out for dinner or for a drink after work. Everyone is on first name terms. Don't you find it very hot there? Bangkok is hot, yes, but the offices are very comfortable. All the buildings and cars are air conditioned. I have no regrets about moving. Financial rewards. What kind of salary do you think we should offer for the new sales manager's job in Almaty? It's difficult to say. We would normally pay fifty thousand dollars a year plus commission for a job with these responsibilities, but I don't know about the cost of living in Kazakhstan, and I have no idea about the level of local salaries. Neither have I. I'll talk to Balgira Karakas about it. She's originally from Almaty. I think she's working in our Dhaka office at the moment. Job benefits. How's the new job? I'm very happy with it. The salary is reasonable. 
Not quite as good as in the last job, but the company really looks after its people. How do you mean? Well, I have free use of the company gym and health club. They pay for all my phone calls, and I get excellent medical insurance. Sickness pay and holidays are very good, and the promotion prospects are excellent. You're lucky. Yes, I am. They even give us a season ticket for the local football team. Retirement and redundancy. How has the takeover affected the company? Well, the new owners are going to close down a plant in Manila, and another in Dubai. About three hundred people are going to lose their jobs. That's terrible. Actually, it's not quite as bad as it seems. Most of the staff will be offered jobs in other plants, and quite a few want to take early retirement. So there are no compulsory redundancies. Very few. That's good news. Four, presentations. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. I'm glad to see so many of you here today. I'd like to talk about how we organise things in this department. First, I'll describe our organisation. Finally, I'd like to discuss some future plans. That's all I wanted to say about training. Moving on to my next point. Excuse me, can you tell us when the report will be ready? Sorry, I didn't catch the question. Could you bear with me? Turnover rose by twelve percent last year. We are predicting a slowdown next year. As you can see from the graph, sales have increased dramatically. Sales reached a peak in December. They have declined since then. These are difficult times for the company. I'd like to finish by thanking you all. I'd welcome your feedback. Dialogues one. Setting the scene. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all here so early in the morning. My name's Hiro Rosado, and I'd like to talk about how we organise language training here. First, I'll describe how English has become the company language. Then I'll outline our study programmes. Finally, I'd like to say something about some of our plans for the future. Moving on. So that's all I wanted to say about the budget for next year. I'd now like to move on to the question Rosa raised earlier. That leads me to my next point. We need to look carefully at how we plan for next year. So next year's budget. I'd now like to talk about the action we are taking to reach our targets. Dealing with questions. How much is the project going to cost? I'm afraid I can't say at the moment. Can you tell us when the report will be ready? I'm hoping to have it ready by the end of the week. 
Are you planning to recruit more staff? Sorry, I didn't catch the question. Could you repeat it, please? Sorry, I'd like to know if you are planning to recruit more staff. Did everyone hear that? The question was, are we planning to recruit more staff? Dealing with the unexpected. Oh dear. Is it broken? Yes, the bulb is broken. I'm afraid I won't be able to use the projector. Could you bear with me? I have some paper copies in my briefcase. <coughs> Are you okay? Yes, I think so. Could I have a glass of water? Oh, that's better. Sorry, where was I? You were just about to tell us some interesting news. Recapping. As I mentioned earlier, we hope to finish the project by the end of the year. I said that we were on schedule. Having said that, there are a couple of potential problems. Coming to an end. I'd like to finish by thanking you all for coming here today, and I look forward to seeing you in two weeks' time. If anyone has any questions, please ask. I will be around for coffee later, and you are very welcome to contact me if you have any queries before the next meeting. Dialogues two. Some facts and figures. Turnover rose in the year to April by 11 percent to four billion dollars, compared with 3.8 billion in the previous year. Profits jumped by 20 percent in this period. However, these results give a misleading picture, as the company sold its French subsidiary during the period for a one-off profit of half a billion dollars. Predictions. We are currently predicting a slowdown in sales for next year. Global trading conditions are not promising. However, one area where we expect growth to continue is in Japan and Korea, where analysts are forecasting an upturn in the market. Is that for the whole of the region? Yes, we are looking at a growth rate of between one and three percent in these areas. Trends. Upwards. As you can see from the graph, sales have increased considerably this year. The beginning of the year was poor, but sales picked up in February and reached a peak in August. Since then, they have fallen a little, but the overall trend is upwards. The outlook is very healthy. Trends downwards. The chart clearly shows the dramatic fall in production since the beginning of the year, and unfortunately, this is a trend which will continue. The closure of our Lufwa plant in January accounts for the sharp fall at that time, and as sales have continued to decline, we have had to temporarily shut down a number of our factories. These are difficult times for the company. Trends steady. If you compare this six-month period with the previous six months, you will notice that there has been very little change in the number of guests visiting our hotel. In fact, guest numbers have not increased for three years. We need to think about what we can do to make our hotel more popular. Five, meeting. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. I'm trying to arrange a meeting for next week. Can you make Thursday afternoon? 
I don't think we need more than two hours. I've booked the conference room for two o'clock. I'll send you my draft proposals by Monday midday. Who would like to take the minutes? I'd like to leave item three until the next meeting. What are your thoughts on this? I'd like to make a point. Of the 50 people I asked, only one did not agree with the idea. Does everyone agree? We made a very good case for changing the system. Unfortunately, they rejected nearly all of our proposals. Only one of our proposals was accepted. Here are the main points covered during the meeting. I've attached the draft minutes of the meeting. Please check if I have left anything out. These are your action points. Dialogues 1 Setting up a meeting by phone Hi Anna, I'm trying to arrange a meeting for next week. Can you make Tuesday or Thursday afternoon? Tuesday would be fine. What time? What about three o'clock? I don't think we need more than two hours. I agree. Is Juan coming, by the way? I hope so, but I haven't asked him yet. Postponing a meeting by phone. Hello again. I hope this won't cause you any problems, but I've just spoken to Juan and he can't make Tuesday. Could we make it Thursday instead? Just a moment. I'll just check my diary. Right. I've got another meeting on Thursday, but it should be finished by 3.15. But could we meet at 3.30, just in case the meeting overruns? Of course. I know Juan will be pleased, because he didn't want to miss the meeting. Fine. See you on Thursday afternoon. I'll send you my draft proposals by Monday midday. Thanks, Anna. Bye. Setting up a meeting. A voicemail message. I'm sorry, I can't take your call at the moment. Please leave your message after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, Margaret. It's Dagmar here. I'd like to come over to Poznan next week to see you and Alex. There are some things we need to discuss relating to the arrangements for the conference. Any day next week except Friday would suit me. Could you check with Alex and get back to me? I think we'll need about three hours. Look forward to hearing from you. Confirming a meeting by email. Hi, Dagmar. I've spoken to Alex, and the best day for us is Wednesday. I've booked the conference room in our office, and I'll order some sandwiches for lunch. Let me know if you would like us to arrange anything special for you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the office at 12.30. Regards, Margaret. Dialogues 2 Working through an agenda Has everyone got a copy of the agenda? Lee, could you take the minutes, please? No problem. Thanks. So, let's start. 
As we're rather short of time today, I'd like to leave item four until the next meeting. Is that okay with everyone? That's fine with me. Good. So, can we look at item one? That's John's proposal that future department team meetings should be held away from the office. What are your thoughts on this? Reporting back to a meeting. John, could you give us your report? Certainly. As you know, I was asked to find out what the people in my department thought about arranging more meetings away from the office. I found that most of my staff were opposed to the idea. The majority feeling was that they would prefer to organise meetings in this building. That's interesting. Sandra, what did you find out? Quite the opposite. In my department, of the fifty people I asked. Only five did not like the idea of having meetings away from the office. Reaching an agreement. I think we should abandon the idea altogether. Does everyone agree? Not really. I think we need to send a questionnaire to all the staff so we can find out exactly what they think. Is that really necessary? You've heard what John and Sandra have said. There are so many different views. It's not worth it. I suppose you're right. It just seemed like a good idea to me. It is a good idea. Perhaps we could look at it again next year. Making a point. The other point I want to make is that we need to be informed about the dates of meetings well in advance. I was told about the date of this meeting very late, and that caused me a lot of problems. Some people were not able to come at all. We really must avoid this in the future. Communication is very bad in this company. That's not true. Some people simply do not read their messages. The date was set three weeks ago, and everyone was told then. Dialogue three. A follow-up phone call. One. Hi, Kitty. I'm just phoning to let you know what happened in the meeting. Thanks. So, how did it go? Bad news, I'm afraid. They rejected all of our proposals to change suppliers to AKK. Some of the managers agreed that we needed to change. But Anton Trofimov persuaded them to leave things as they are. So, what reasons did he give? Anton said he thought that the current arrangements were good enough, and finally everyone else agreed with him. I don't believe it. How can they be so short-sighted? A follow-up phone call. Two. Hello again, Kitty. I thought I should let you know immediately that Anton has been having second thoughts. He's been through the figures which I presented at the meeting again, and he now thinks we've made a good case for moving our business over to AKK. Do you want me to do anything? No, but thanks for offering. Anton would like me to provide some more information about AKK at another meeting to be held next week. I'll call you tomorrow so we can discuss details then. Fine. Speak to you then. Action points on a dictaphone. Here are the main points covered during the meeting on February fourteenth, and action to be taken. Yaroslav to produce a questionnaire to find out how the staff would like to spend the New Year bonus. Juliet to research costs for proposed building project. Winston to look into improving our security systems. Tree planting project. No decision made. Leave until the next meeting. The next meeting will be on March third. Sending minutes by email. Elia, I've attached the draft minutes of the meeting. Could you look through them and check if I have left anything out? Many thanks, Kim. Six, entertaining and socialising. 
some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. Would you like tea or coffee? How do you like your coffee? Can I have a soft drink? Could you translate the menu for me, please? Do you have an English menu? We're ready to order. That was delicious. Can I have the bill, please? So, where do you live? In a small town not far from Milan. Did you watch the match on TV last night? Where are you going for your holidays this year? We're planning to go to Italy. I've been invited to dinner with the managing director this evening. I'd like to take a small present. Do you have any suggestions? I'm sure she'd like some flowers. It's a formal dinner. We're having an informal reception. Dialogues 1 Coffee or tea? Would you like some coffee? Do you have any tea? Yes, we do. Do you take milk and sugar? No, thanks. Can I have a soft drink, please? Yes, of course. We have some orange juice and some sparkling water. I'll have an orange juice, please. Translating the menu. I hope you like Russian food. Let me translate the menu for you. I recommend the set menu, which is borscht. That's beetroot soup, followed by buglama, which is a kind of lamb stew cooked in spices. It comes with mashed potato and salad. Sounds good. What about dessert? There's a choice of ice cream. I'm happy with that. Let's order. Ordering a meal. One. We're ready to order. To start, I'd like chicken soup and my colleague would like the grilled sardines. Thank you. And for your main course? I'd like fried chicken and French fries. And was it roast duck and boiled rice? That's right. With a green side salad, please. Thank you. And to drink? We'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. Ordering a meal. Two. Are you ready to order? Yes, please. I'd like the steak, please. How would you like it cooked? Medium rare. Thank you. Are you having a starter? No, thanks. I'm in rather a hurry. Paying the bill. That was very good. Can we have the bill, please? Here you are, sir. Excuse me, but could you tell me what this is for? It's for the bread. Oh, yes, I see. Do you take credit cards? I'm sorry, we don't. If you need cash, there's a cash machine just across the road. Dialogues 2 Where you live? Where do you live, Xavier? In Sitges, near Barcelona. Oh, I know Barcelona very well. It's one of my favourite cities. And mine. Sitges is a beautiful little town just along the coast from Barcelona. I've lived there all my life. It's a great place for a holiday, but best to go out of season. Starting a conversation. 
Did you see the football match last night? Yes, I did. I thought Owen played very well. So did I. I thought his first goal was fantastic. So you like football, do you? I quite like it. I watch international matches and I follow my local team, but I prefer basketball. Family matters. Where are you going for your summer holiday? I'm going to the French Alps with the family. We all want to do different things, so it's a great place for us. My son and daughter can go mountain biking, and my partner and I can go walking and play some golf. How old are your children? Eleven and thirteen. What about you? Do you have any children? Yes, but they're all grown up. They don't want to come on holiday with us any more. Cultural advice. I've been invited to dinner with Paolo and Maria this evening, but I don't know what to wear. I'd also like to take a small present. Do you have any suggestions? Just be casual. I'm sure they'd appreciate some flowers and maybe something from Scotland. I've got a box of Scottish biscuits with me. That would be fine. Sensitive issues. I'm looking forward to meeting David this afternoon. Oh, haven't you heard? He's left the company. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? I thought he was doing very well with you. He was, but there were a few problems. I'm afraid I can't really go into it now. I understand. Tell me another time. Seven, travel. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'd like to sit next to my colleague. I only have one bag to check in. I'd like to book a hire car for three days. Do I need an international driving license? How would you like to pay? Do you take credit cards? A single to Munich, please. Do I need to reserve a seat? Is the seat reservation included in the price of the ticket? Do you have a double room for two nights? A non-smoking room, please, with a bath and a balcony. We need your credit card number to hold the reservation. I'm calling from room twenty-one. The TV doesn't work. The bed hasn't been made. I'd like to change my room. I don't have any cash on me. That's okay. You can pay by credit card. Dialogues one. Checking in for a flight. Can I have your ticket and passport, please? Thank you. Would you like an aisle or a window seat? I'd like an aisle seat, if possible. Okay. I have given you a seat in the exit row. Is that all right? Yes, that's fine. Thanks. And I'd like to sit next to my colleague, if possible. I'm sorry, we don't have any more seats together. Could you talk to the cabin attendant when you board the plane?
hiring a car. Hello, I'd like to book a hire car for three days from March the fourteenth to the seventeenth, please. Do I need an international driving license to drive here? No, but there is a charge for an extra driver. So, how much will it cost in total? Three hundred dollars. How would you like to pay? By credit card, please. Taking the train. A single to Munich, please. First or second class? First class, please. Okay, that will be seventy euros. Please sign here. Do I need to reserve a seat? No, the seat reservation is included in the price. Booking a hotel. Wellington Hotel. Can I help you? Yes, I've been trying to book a room on your hotel website, but I can't complete the booking. Sorry, sir. I can do the booking for you. Thank you. I'd like to book a twin room for two nights, the twelfth and thirteenth of June. Just one moment. I'll check our availability. Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Cook. I won't be arriving until eleven p.m. Do you need my credit card number to hold the reservation? Yes, please. Checking into a hotel. Hello, I have a reservation in the name of Perry. I'm sorry, I cannot find a booking in that name. Did you book the room yourself? No, my company Carditis booked it. Oh yes, here it is. Could you fill in this form, please? Would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? A non-smoking room, please, with a bath and a balcony, if possible. We have a non-smoking room with a balcony on the tenth floor. Enjoy your stay. Dialogues two. At the check-in desk. Can I see your hand luggage, please? I just have this bag and a laptop. Could you put them on the scales? I'm afraid the bag will have to go in the hold. Is that really necessary? It's very small. I'm afraid so. A flight delay. I'm sorry, Carmen, but I'm not going to get to the meeting on time. There was a delay coming into the airport, and I've just missed my connection. If I'm lucky, I'll get a seat on the flight that leaves in half an hour. Don't worry. As long as you're here for the afternoon session, it doesn't matter too much. Thanks. I'll let you know if I don't manage to catch the flight. Otherwise, expect to see me about twelve thirty in time for lunch. A tight connection. Excuse me, I have a connection to Chicago at five. Am I going to make it? Yes, there will be a minibus waiting at the gate to take you to Terminal B. There shouldn't be a problem. What about my luggage? I'm worried that my bags won't make the connection, even if I do. Don't worry, the minibus will take you and your luggage. There are some other passengers who also have tight connections. Thanks for your help. I'll keep my fingers crossed. A hotel mix-up. Hello, reception. Hello, it's Amanda Lynn from room two o five. I asked for a non-smoking room, but someone has been smoking in this room. Oh yes, and the TV doesn't work. Also, there are no drinks in the minibar, and the bed hasn't been made. I'd like to change rooms. I'm very sorry, madam. I'll organise a different room for you and send someone up immediately to help you with your luggage. A payment problem. I'm sorry, but we need some identification if you'd like to pay by credit card. Oh, I don't think I have any identification with me, and I don't have enough cash. I'm sure I paid by credit card last time I was here. Yes, we do accept credit cards, but only if the bill is under one hundred euros. I'm afraid it's a security rule. I understand. 
Can I pay one hundred euros with my card and the rest in cash? Yes, that would be fine. Eight, emailing. Some useful phrases. Listen to the recording and repeat. Hi, Yana. Hope you're feeling better. I'm afraid I won't be able to see you on Thursday. Let me know when you're next going to be in town. Look forward to hearing from you. Speak to you later. Your training manager has asked me to write to you. It's about organizing language training. I'll call you at the end of the week. If you have any queries, please call me. Many thanks for helping out with the conference. I would like to apologize for the problems we had. Let's hope we have better luck next time. I would like to invite you to lunch next week. Are you free for lunch on Friday? Let me know if you can come. Many thanks for the invitation. I'd love to come. We are sorry to inform you that Raj Singh has left the company. I was very sorry to hear about Raj. Please pass on my best wishes. Messages one. A first contact. Dear Ms. Hamza, your training manager, Piotr Morawska. Has asked me to write to you about organizing professional language training for your company, either in Poland and/or in the UK. I'll call you at the end of the week, but in the meantime, if you have any queries, please call me on o nine eight o nine or send me an email. Yours sincerely, Esther White. A formal message. Dear colleague, I am writing to inform you and your staff that we are relocating our offices to Pisa. We will close on the second of November, and will reopen in our new premises on the first of December. We will contact you again in the near future. Best regards, Duncan Ho. Every day matters. Hi, Yana. Hope you're feeling better. I heard from Jack that you had flu. I'm sorry to say that I have a problem next week. Tina's on holiday, and I have to cover for her, so I won't be able to see you on Thursday. I'll call you later, and we can arrange an alternative date. Speak to you later, Ian. A future meeting. Beatrice, it was good to see you again last week. Let me know when you're next going to be in Salzburg, and we'll arrange a night out. There are some excellent restaurants here. I look forward to hearing from you. Regards, Rudy. Messages two. Saying thank you. One. Fred, many thanks for helping with the conference. I'm very sorry that so few people came on Saturday. 
Let's not organize the final session in the middle of a public holiday next year. Anyway, let's hope we have better luck in Yokohama. Take care, Lucy. Saying thank you to Dear Mr. Razor, I am writing to thank you for your active participation in our conference. You really helped to make the event a great success. I would like to apologize for the poor attendance at the Saturday afternoon session. When we planned the conference, we did not realize that it clashed with the World Cup finals. Once again, many thanks. And I look forward to seeing you in Yokohama next year. Best regards, Lucy Lokit. An invitation. Hi, John. I would like to invite you to be our guest at the Brazilian Grand Prix in March. The event is being held at Interlagos, and we would like you to join us for lunch at the track and for an evening dinner in Sao Paulo. Let me know if you can attend. Look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Pedro. Accepting an invitation. Dear Pedro, thanks for the invitation. I'd love to come, and I look forward to seeing you then. Please send me details of the event when you have them. Best regards, John. Declining an invitation. Dear Pedro, many thanks for your kind invitation to attend the Grand Prix. Unfortunately, I'll be abroad on that day, and I won't be able to make it. I hope the event goes well for you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. With best regards, John. Messages 3 Problems Dear Serge, I have just heard from our French office that they are having problems arranging the meeting in Paris next week. There is a problem with accommodation, as there is a large trade fair on at that time. All the hotels are full. Do you have any suggestions? Best regards, Ian. Good news. Dear Evelyn, good news. We've got the RX contract. Thanks for all your hard work on this. It would be good to get together sometime next week to talk through some details. I'm free all day Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon. Let me know a time that suits you and I'll set up a meeting. Regards, Yarosema. A general announcement. Dear friends and colleagues, this is to let you know that Will Pick is leaving the company on Wednesday the 3rd of April. As many of you know, Wilfred has worked for us for more than 20 years. I'm sure that you will want to join us in wishing Wilfred good luck in his new job. We will be organising a reception for him in the canteen after work on his last day. And we very much hope that you will be able to come. Yours sincerely, Tara Gozo. For information. Dear Rosa, I am sorry to inform you that I will be off work for two weeks, as I have to go into hospital for a routine operation. I expect to be back in the office on the 30th of March. Helena Rallis will be covering for me while I so please contact her if you need anything. Best regards, Stavros. Passing on good wishes. Dear Helena, I was sorry to hear about Stavros. I am sure that he is keen to get back to work, but tell him to take his time. Please pass on my best wishes. Regards, Rosa Fuente.